Are you ready? Hey guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with Thank God It's Finished. And I have Maxwell. I guess he's going to be shy. He's so tiny compared to Molly. He's tiny compared to Jasper too. But I wanted you guys to be able to meet him so here you go. Say hi Max! Say hi! I'm Maxwell Beckham. I come from Canada. And I'm a love. He's been so good. So that's Maxie. I'm not going to hold him the whole time because he's small, but he's still... Oh, he's going to sit next to me, I guess. That's fine. So, welcome to Thank God It's Finished. Um, I have a lot, of, lot to show, and Max is going to eat my projects. A lot to show and a lot to talk about, so I'm going to jump right into it and tell you what's been going on. First, I wanted to give you all an update about Mia. Um, Mia is improving slowly. Um, a couple more things have happened with her. She had a really bad infection in her gums and got put on some antibiotics. She, I want you to be able to see how cute he is. She also had a, a lot of blood work done, like they tested everything. And it was discovered that she had a GI bleed, which I think is just an ulcer. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see how cute he is. Um, and got put on more medication for that. And it's been a little challenging because one, we got the puppy. And two, the medications can't be taken. They have. There's a very strict schedule that I had to map out for feeding and medications and time and everything else. So we have to get up at 6 for her first medication, which we're not morning people and dogs. And her last medication is at 11. And there are big chunks of time in there that she can't have any food or medication to inter because it'll interact with the new medication. So, um, long story long, she is getting better. Um, she's a little less anorexic. She's eating a little. She's lost a significant amount of weight. She's lost about a pound, which is a lot on a chihuahua. She does need to lose some weight, but we didn't want her to lose it quite that quickly. Um, but we're pleased. Uh, we're cautiously optimistic. The next thing is once we get her straightened out, um, all this medication lasts about seven days or so. Some last six, some last ten. The cardiac medication she's on long term. But once we get her straightened out, then we um, determine what our next step is with the cardiologist and what we want to do. And Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And I got Dewey down here too. You want to say hi, Dewey? Ooh, extreme close-up of my forehead. Dewey, say hi! Say hi! I got a bit. I got a little brother. I got a little brother. I'm not the middle child anymore. Is that what you said? Oh, thank you. All right, go ahead and get down and bark. Okay, it. so he's still out here, but we'll see if he um, cooperates. Max is still sitting next to me. I think he's coming up to bark at me. So I haven't had a lot of time for knitting or crafting or anything like that, nor the attention span, but I have gotten quite a bit done. So let's jump right into what I've been working on. The first thing, don't eat that, Max, is trying to get Max not to eat everything in sight. No. <laughs> The first thing is I've been making my um, ice beverage covers. Whoa! Which Max likes apparently. So because I have quite a few orders for these, um, I've I finally caught up. They'll all be going in the mail. I just have this one left. Then I'm gonna make a couple extras, so I have enough. My next finished object is the Castle Grayskull socks, which I've been showing for a while. I looked on Ravelry, it took me um, a month to knit these. There they are. And they're matched pretty perfectly, which was kind of amazing because one of the socks, let me see if I can tell you which one. Nope, I can't. One of the socks had a knot in it, but the great thing about this skein, I don't know if they do this with all of them, is that when they knotted it together, they knotted it in the same 
sequence so that it didn't break the sequence of the yarn so that they matched. We all know how I am about things matching. I'm a little anal. Don't eat that, Maxie. Don't eat that, baby. I'm going to be saying that a lot, I think. The next thing I finished was, this, I bought this pattern on Ravelry, or I think I bought it on Etsy because they had a pattern, a, a package deal. Uh, a friend of mine who I went to webs with this weekend is always saying when we drive by goats, she always says, oh, I wish we had mohair goats again because she used to have goats. So I knit her. Oh, well, it's not a mohair goat, but I knit her this cute little goat. It's called, um, the pattern designer is Jelly Bum. Um, and I thought it was pretty cute. I like the legs. They give you a couple different options for the body shape and for the legs. But I liked the dangly eggs, cause, legs, not eggs, because I thought maybe it could sit on her desk at the studio or maybe at home. Who knows? Oh, I finished my Piper's Journey also. This was a really fun knit. Um, I just had to put it down for a while because the lace edging... I was afraid I couldn't really concentrate on it. It blocked out amazing. And if you remember, this is the yarn. This is Knit Picks. Oh, Knit Picks something bear. I think it's Squish. It's not Wool of the Andes. It's a superwash, so. Um, that I dyed with some Wilton's food coloring. Wilton's, not food, food coloring, icing gels. And it came out great. And I wasn't sure that the colors were going to work for um, the shawl, but I'm enamored with it. I think it came out great. So that's that. As always, all links to patterns can be found on my Ravelry page. And my final finished object is the bunny I showed you last week. It's called Bunny Girl in a Dress. And here she is. I have her in a doll stand because it's easier. Well, it's from when I was taking pictures. There she is. She's really cute. I love the shoes. I added some just basic buttons to her shoes to make them look more like Mary Jane's. I decided to go with a pom-pom tail instead of a, um, a knit tail. And her dress comes off, and I have patterns for a whole bunch of different dresses that she can wear. So I might make another one or two for her. There, She comes with seasonal dresses, which I think is really cool. I don't know if I'll make another one for her or if I'll make um, a more basic colored rabbit and then make some seasonal dresses to keep her out because I'm becoming that crazy doll. Somebody just beeped. I apologize. Guys! Alright, good job. I'm sitting outside because it's the first five minutes today that it hasn't been raining and the lighting is always so much better outside. So moving right into works in progress, I'm still spinning the She Spins fiber. I haven't, I don't know if I've touched that since last week, but that's okay. I'm still working on, there's been no progress on this, but I'll show it. Um, the owls, woo, cardigan out of Cascade Eco. And then I also started my next pair of socks. I started at this while we were waiting for Max to come home in between vet appointments because we went to the vet that day. Um, and it's out of the yarn that Bruno sent me, uh, which is Opal Opal Ver Viridians Chefpate Range. Um, you know, I can't speak German, I can't sound things out. Hi, buddy! Um, and the colorway is Kim. And this is what I've got so far. They're just going to be basic vanilla socks with the fish lips kiss heel. Hi, bud. <laughs> and um, I'm loving them. They're really happy. And I needed a little bit of happy. Um, it's funny because Pam... Um, formerly known as Pam Loomer, Pam, I think, Chatfield is her name, um, mentioned in a video that everybody talks about their opal socks. They're the only socks that people talk about when, hi, when they, <laughs> isn't he adorable? They name their socks by the yarn instead of, um, by the pattern. 
I could just put the video on him and you guys would probably be entertained. So let me readjust a few things and then I will show you what I have that is new. Hi, hi. Oh yeah, this is fibers. I don't know if you've ever seen fiber before. Okay, so I'm back. I wasn't really gone for you guys, but I had to go get something. Um, I got some awesome mail in the mail. Some mail in the mail. I got a great package in the mail from Snowy44 and her family. Um, it was this beautiful fiber, again from She Spins, that's in all different colors of green and yellow. And this is, I think it's Falkland. Yeah, it's four ounces of Falkland. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you want to get down, buddy? Okay, I'll show you what I got at Webs. The first thing I got was, I actually didn't buy. This, um, my friend Doreen bought for me. And I didn't know she bought it till we got home because I wouldn't have allowed her to purchase it for me. This is by Fabulous Fibers, which I have spun before. It's three feet of sheep. And this is in a BFL silk blend, which I haven't spun anything with silk in it yet, but that's what I would like to do next. Not this, because I'm not ready for this. But how beautiful is this? Isn't that gorgeous? And it, it would appear that all the colors are separated in little bumps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But it's so cool and it's so pretty. And actually at Webb's, they, um, because we went during the tent sale and the fleece market, all of, of their roving and spinning supplies were 20% off. Which was an added bonus because I went for two things. Well, I went for three things and fiber. The only other thing I would allow myself to buy was fiber. So first I'll show you the fiber. Um, I got this. This is four ounces of an alpaca silk. Pretty sure it's alpaca and cultured cultured silk. Um, Dorian and I walked by this like twelve times and pet it each time, and it was just too beautiful not to buy. I it was really inexpensive. Um, this four ounces of fiber was literally like eight bucks. Can't beat that, can you? The next thing I got was this is some Ashland Bay this is merino and silk and the color I don't remember what the color was but I got just over five ounces of this because that's what the size of the bump was okay so we were eating furniture so Max is back with me for the moment I don't know if that's gonna make him too happy third time's a charm merino silk it's up on my Ravelry page just over five ounces and the last thing I got was just Merino. This is again Ashland Bay. And I got 8 ounces of this because I thought it would be a good one to practice with to get a larger quality, quality, quantity of um, finished yarn. Where are you going, Max? And again, super inexpensive. But it, it feels nice. And they had some spun up and it was amazing. Hi! How different it looks spun up. Yeah, it looked different, didn't it, buddy? Put that in there. I have these cool little baskets. And then I got some yarn. The first thing I got, which uh, Juanita is probably going to be upset about, was um, James C. Brett Marble Chunky. It was on sale for ten forty nine, I think. It's kind of glaring, but it's a pretty color. But it's actually gray in here too. Um, you can't really see it in this ball. Oh, there was some right there. Um, but I only got one skein of that. I got three skeins of Taki, Taki Yarns Jackson, which is a bulky yarn. Um, and this is, what is it? 100% wool. So I got three skeins of this to make, um, a huge monster to put all my knitting buttons on, like Dawn from Wolf Farms did. She did it a long time ago, and I've been saying I was going to make one. Um, because I have a lot of buttons, and then I also got myself a button that says I Love Sheep. I, ch I get a button every time I go there. And the final things I got was, um, were, I can't, I can't speak today. Some more of the Universal Yarn Classic Worsted Tapestry. These are self-striping and self-patterning. Um, and I got them to make 
monsters because I thought they would be really cute. So I got two of this color, which is Easter Surprise. I got two in Carnival. I got two in China Blue, which I think this is the one I got to make Kristen a hat when we went together. I got two in Birthday Cake, because it's pink. You know me, I'm pink. Um, and this is the last one I got, which we had to... There were only two skeins of it. This is the nice looking one. This is the other one. And this was in Capri Breeze. But I liked those colors, so I got that. And that's all I got. I mean, that's not all I got. I got a lot. So We have a toy knit crochet sew along going on over in the Ravelry group. Go ahead and check that out. What was I going to say about that? Oh, someone asked me what what qualifies as a toy. I'm going to put it this way. If you could give it to a child and they could play with it, it's a toy. I want you to use your best judgment. I mean, don't put a pair of socks in there and say, my kids are playing feet dress up or something, unless that's what they're really doing. Um, but you get the drift. Uh, stuffies. Stuffies. I don't know what else would be in there. I know somebody was making um, a zombie Pop-Tart. I think that's a toy because it has a face and you can play with it. I would play with it. Um, but you know what I mean. Don't put a hat in there and try and tell me it's a toy. That's really my only thing. I'm, I'm not... Let's not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. So. so that's all I have for this week. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.